the leaves are actually compressed into a yellow line. It's weird. What is that? Seeds or something? I don't know what that is. I can make that. I could totally make that. I totally made that. And I thought I could totally make it, and I did. I totally made it. I'm a total savior of Vikingness. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Edinburgh Castle at some point. Um, like on a Sunday. You know, because we could grab um, Bill and Dunk as well and have like a four person vlog, a vlog going on. Which would be kind of sweet. But it's it's been it's been shitty weather. Or it's just circumstances, you know. Um, the first day we probably could have gone, we decided to just do something else. And it's just been like that, you know, we've had other things we've done. Or it's been too wet or too rainy. Um, or someone's been busy or whatever. It's just it's not worked out yet. But eventually we're going to go up to Edinburgh Castle. Not for a historical tour per se, probably more of a um, filming ourselves dicking around in a castle. But I'm sure that's interesting to you guys, because, you know, you watch YouTube when you eat breakfast, right? So, I'm like your breakfast entertainment, I think. And I'll, I'll do that anyway. I'll load up YouTube when I'm eating breakfast, and I'll watch a few videos as I'm munching away. I haven't ate breakfast yet, so... If you upload before 10 o'clock, you know, you might be able to share people. <laughs> You might get my viewership. Yeah, I went trick or treating with my little nephew and his dad on Halloween, like like up until like seven o'clock or something, you know, just in, in the afternoon because it was dark enough, it was scary and stuff. But yeah, we went out. We knocked on. I'd say the first four or five doors we knocked on was obviously like young couples, so they gave us candy and they commented on how awesome my um my hat was. Yeah, my awesome hat. And uh, like the last. The two doors we did. This is what made us give up. Uh, the last, the second last door was an old guy. He sort of, he came to the door and looked through the door at us through the glass. Actually, I'll tell the story afterwards. Because there's people everywhere. <laughs> I'm paranoid. <laughs> Doofus. Yeah. We went at guys and, and like the second last door, the guy, he actually, he came to the door and looked at us through the door because he had like a glass um, window in the door. He looked at us through that and then he went to the room next to the door and opened the window and actually peeked out at us. So I obviously went, you know, hello, and waved at him. And that made him close the window really quickly. And then he went and stood on the opposite side window. He just stood in the dark looking at me, you know, which is a bit dickheaded, really. Because all he wanted was some candy, you know. I had my wee nephew with me, so he was dressed up as um, Bumblebee from Transformers. And I was like a Mexican immigrant. Because <laughs> that's the easiest costume I could think of. But yeah, he seen us, and uh, he just ignored us. He stood there staring at us, but he didn't answer the door. You know, at least if you're not going to answer the door, Pretend you're not home, you know, turn lights off and go to sleep. Don't stand at the window looking at people. Because it's just dickheaded, you know? Why do that? And the first one after that, we rang on the doorbell. The lights were on and everything, we rang the doorbell, waited there for like five minutes, nothing. So we rang it again, uh, nothing. So we just thought, yeah, fuck this, we've had two bad doors in the let's just go home. So we went home. We actually rang our own doorbell and scared my mum, so that was good. Because I, I got down on my knees and pretend I was a kid. <laughs> I was like, Trick or treat! Oh, candy! But yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a candy high now because I ate half of the sweets. He got these um, day caramels off this lady who was pregnant and had um, uh, stiff nipples. Anyway, yeah, she gave us like a day of caramel which um, I've ate. <laughs> Sorry, my mom, I ate your chocolate. I'm hungry, that's what I do. But yeah, I ate your chocolate. Well, this trick or treating for you, guys, and they call it here. I think um, what we're supposed to do is obviously knock on the door, and then you do a wee dance to tell them a joke or something, and then they give you a, a treat. Um, what we did was 
go to the door, shout trick or treat. And we say, oh, have you got a wee dance for me? You know, no, I haven't got a dance for you. Give me a candy, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, I should have probably did a wee dance. I did a wee dance for someone, the first door I did a wee dance for. And all the jokes I know are really dirty jokes. The same as my brother, we both know like dirty jokes, because obviously we're not kids. Um, we didn't know any like child friendly jokes that we could that we could tell them, you know. Most of my jokes were either like dirty or racist or, or both, you know. So there's that idea out the window. Trafficjam.com Judging the train systems. I haven't been out on my bike in three days. I've got to say, it comes back to you really fast, it's like riding a bicycle, you know. You never forget. <laughs> nah, uh, it's only three days. See what I'm like when I have to pack up for winter proper, you know, like when seasons ended and everything. That'll be interesting. When I get back on the bike, I'll probably be all newbie for like the first two, three days, riding very slowly and stuff. Don't mind too much. Super clean visor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, ah, fuck you, fuck that shit in the ass, that sucks balls, balls, could have made that way, should have made that way, I'm an idiot, Ooh. cold, I was watching the camera there, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the real world. Visor down! I think my camera is actually messed up. It really seems very white down there. Hopefully the video has turned out okay. If it hasn't, I'm going to upload it anyway, because uh, I'll just give you an idea of how stupidly sunny it is today. But yesterday was like the heaviest rain we've had all year. So, you know, go figure. What the fuck does that work? This have matching weather. This is Scotland for you. It will rain like a monsoon one day, and the next day it'll be sunny, you know, and then it'll like snow or something. It's fucking global warming, man. Oh, mostly global warming. I just thought something fell out of my pocket, so I was feeling myself up with my right hand, which is the hand you should be breaking with. <laughs> okay, I've stopped. <laughs> Break. Little bikey break, you will make it if you break. You will make it if you break, and if you overtake, you will beat everybody to the place you're going to. Where am I going? I don't know. <laughs>